So we are in the Castilla region, um, the wine region of Manchuela uh, in Spain with a Bobal, which is the typical grape that you find there from Clo Lohan. Um, and this wine is, oh, it's interesting. Yeah, I was just reading about him, um, I guess when I was picking this wine. And uh, he was 23 when he started in 20, 2005. So it was his 15th anniversary when he made this one because it's a 2020 vintage. And um, I love Bobal as a grape. I think that it is typically quite rustic. Um, and I, well, <laughs> never mind. Let's not get, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. I love the way he makes this wine though. Um, but, oh, I guess the one thing I can say is that it definitely has the rustic feel with the label, which I think is very underrated because in the natural wine world, we get very, um, into picking wines by labels. I still do it, everyone does it. But sometimes it's nice to just know that, you know, they're doing things the traditional way, but more like the traditional way before they started using pesticides and stuff versus the traditional way of, you know, post-World War II, basically. All right, after our history lesson, um, let's dive into it. So this is a very dark wine, which is pretty typical of Bobal. Um, I know that it was made in like large oak barrels, so it's not gonna like impart any flavor on it, but it will breathe some like that will like, it's gonna breathe more than if it was in concrete or if it was in stainless steel. Um, so that's something good to note. And um, yeah, no finding, no filtering, et cetera. 13%, so, or no, sorry, 13%, so not super um, high, also not low. And yeah, let's, let's tell it. Oh man, I just love the ball. <laughs> it smells so good. So it smells like silky and smooth. Like, um, actually, how does something smell silky? That's actually probably something good to unpack. I guess because it's like, it's a little bit floral, but it's also mainly, even maybe it's because it's like the leather. It's got a little bit of leather, a little bit of smoke, a lot of fruit. But what makes it smell silky? I don't know. I think maybe just because my assumption of what those flavors will feel like on the palate. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, all right, so that's the top. On the bottom, lots of dark fruit. Honestly, though, I'm even getting like a little bit of like strawberry. I don't think he did anything like carbonic on here. Or maybe he did. It doesn't say exactly doesn't say exactly so I don't know but it would not surprise me like I'm getting a little bit of like a Beaujolais bubblegum vibes but I might be making that up but yeah so dark fruit with blackberries you know plums it's honestly it's just got the whole thing it's got the dark cherries white cherries strawberries raspberries there's a lot here <laughs> um so let's try it Oh man, that is fresh and tasty and whoa. Both very tannic, very tannic and very acidic. Um, so great, perfectly balanced, but like this thing needs some food. <laughs> I'm gonna need some crackers before I do my next slide. Um, wow, that was tasty. So yeah, that's the structure. It's very, it's definitely medium bodied. It's not like, it's funny because it's super high um well it's high tannin high acid but it is light uh kind of like the northern italian grapes that i've been describing in some of the other videos um but still somehow manages to be like kind of glue glue it can't be completely glue glue because like it stops you in your tracks and you're like whoa <laughs> there's a lot going on here but it's just light so it's tasty all right so let's talk a little bit more about the flavors Mm. Wow. So it's just everything. <laughs> it's got the spice. It's got, I would say there's, I'm getting more dark fruit on the palate than I was getting on the nose. Um, but yeah, it's like it's pretty savory. Um, leather, smoky, some mineral, but it's a little bit like, I, I can feel that it's there 
but it's a little muted by everything else going on. This is just a very well-made wine. <laughs> I'm so impressed with this producer and it makes me really like bring in more of his stuff because damn, this is like, I drink a lot of Bobal and I think this might be my favorite and it's super inexpensive. So I think that, I don't know exactly, I think he makes between one to 4,000 cases. So not a small amount, not, not a small, not a big amount in the natural wine world. Um, yeah, well, hang on, let me try once more and then we'll talk about pairings. Mm. What do I want to put with this? I want to put smoked meat, I think. Like I want to put brisket or yeah, like barbecued stuff with it. Or like, um, yeah, like barbecued chicken where you put like the barbecue sauce on it. Man, that would be really tasty. I think because it's got a nice smokiness to it. I just want to put it with something that's going to be smoky as well. Um, game could be good too if you're hitting up the wild boar and trying to get rid of them <laughs> in many of the towns out there. Great. Um, if you want to go Spanish, this is from if I have Valencia region. So, you know, you're like rabbit in paella would be perfect. I mean, it's good with the seafood with the tannin, but with everything else that's in there, it's so full of spices. Like, oh man, not missing Spain. How nice. Such a good line. Um, yeah, that should give you a ton of options. So I hope you enjoy it. And I think we have a decent amount of it. So you should be able to buy more because like this, this is the wine that I want to bring to like a dinner party. Again, this is all I didn't talk about this. It's definitely a stealth natural wine. You never know it's natural wine. Um, and it's a grape that's not uncommon, but also not that well known. Uh, and it's inexpensive. So bring it to the party. You can have a couple bottles or if you have people over, it's going to go with your summer barbecues. Because it's actually it's light. Sorry to just linger on this for a minute. I, I'm Mine is like cellar temperature, which is what I would want to serve it at. But there's something that's a little bit gluggable about it, even though it's so tannic. So you could probably serve it, not chilled, but just with a little chill. And it's going to be nice. It's going to, you know, calm down as it opens up to. I just core on it. So talk about value. <laughs>